Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally back with part two of my scrapbook expo haul. I'm trying to work out a few technical difficulties. The video should look better this time. I'm trying to figure out the little timestamp in the bottom. I will get it figured out. I'm on vacation this week, so I'm going to try to dedicate a lot of time to bringing me some cool stuff when I get back in town. And okay, so day two, I really did not buy that much. On day two, I took the Nicole Peterson Life Changing Blender Brushes class. And it was awesome. I'd really been curious about these brushes, but I keep seeing the, um, the Picket Fence Studios ones. And then you see people buy the cheap ones on Amazon. But really for the price, I felt like the price of the show was really good. You don't have to pay shipping or anything. So I went ahead and picked up the whole pack after I took the class and got to try them out there. Now the class kit, <clears throat> excuse me, this time was three stamp sets. These are the Catherine Pooler, or three stamp pads rather, ink pads. These are Limoncello, Suede Shoes, and It's a Boy. She also gave you a really cute stamp with a coordinating die. And then you got three of these blender brushes. She said this is the most average size. You got three of these. And two of them we used in class. This one was kept new. So I'm just going to go ahead and give that to one of my friends. So that's why I kept that one separate. Now I did, after I got to take the class and play with the brushes, I was sold. And of course I went ahead and bought the 10 pack. But she was having a special at the show. Um, I guess they're $50 normally. At the show they were $40. And then I had 10% off for taking the class. So I had an extra coupon. So that came with all of them. And some of them are really small. They would be great for doing stencils. And... Once I play with them some more, I will show you what I make, but they're just really soft and, uh, they're like butter. I just keep wanting to just, they're just, they're awesome. Really fun to work with. Really easy for blending, and I really can't wait to play with those some more and get better. Get some better results. Experiment. Play. Alright. So also at her booth, I went ahead and picked up some of the stamp pads that we got in class. Ink pads, rather. I'm sorry, I keep calling them stamp pads. You know what I mean. I got It's a Girl, All That Jazz, Coral Cabana, Bellini, and Party Dress. Those are like my colors. I love those colors. I went ahead and picked up more alcohol ink. I had bought all the pearls the day before. And, okay, let's get these guys out of here. So I went ahead and bought more. I didn't have a lot of soft pinks or different kind of blues. I have lots of dark blues in my alcohol ink stash. So I picked up pistachio. I picked up shell pink. I picked up pool. Love those. I got salmon. I got the mixative in copper. And I got turquoise. And then I also got, I've always wanted one and never gotten one, the Lawn Fawn Stamp Chamois. So that will help clean my stamps after I use them. Also I realized after the first day that for my special, one of the dies I bought, I needed the extended plates. So I went ahead and picked those up. Those were from It's Cheaper Than Therapy. And really the only other thing I picked up was, actually no, I'm forgetting, oh, the main thing. Okay, so this was from Tall Mouse. These are just the little Prima marketing watercolor cakes. I got confections, so they're like pastels. Um, watercolor confections, artist quality watercolor hand set. And I got pastel dreams. And he threw in these brushes. I guess they're Japanese board bristle brushes and I haven't really got a chance to use them yet so I'll bust into that and tell you how I like that and then the main thing this is what I, I left the expo I got in my car and I went back I like got out of my car and went back in and spent literally my last $40 that I had planned out for this on the Tim Holtz Tonic Studios glass media mat I'm really excited. I'm not really, I don't think I'm going to bust it out yet until I get to sit down and play with it. But I'm really stoked about that. I have really been wanting this. this way I can zoom out a little bit. 
I've really been wanting this. I can't wait to play with it with some alcohol inks or just different mediums and play around and see what I get. I'm really excited about that. But thank you for joining me. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. I'll be happy to answer them as soon as I can. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.